Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! Anything in your life that does not reflect the glory of God, you have an assignment to insist. Listen, you have an assignment to insist by faith. I'm, I'm just giving you a summary of why you came here. Because there are many people who come to the house of God and they, respectfully speaking, are so careless and insensitive, just rejoicing, watching who is falling, watching who is rising, watching who is jumping, while other people are receiving by faith, changing levels in the spirit, insisting on the manifestation of prophecy. There are others who remain spectators almost forever and they go back disappointed, wondering, God, why didn't you visit me? So we are here to experience the power of God in our lives. This is the purpose of the miracle service. Tonight is not a time to discuss. We have weeks to teach the word of God and that we are committed to doing with, with diligence and with excellence. But a miracle service is dedicated to be an extension of God's love, God's power, God's mercy to his people. I do not believe in the faith practice that ends up as a discussion we need to see god manifest in our lives here and now for god's sake that god will do something in your life and give you a consolation too there are many of us you have not personally seen the power of god manifest in any area of your life and right now you are at the edge of unbelief and compromise because it looks like this these stories you are wondering is it that god does not see me You must, you must release your faith tonight as if you are the only one in this place. It's not being selfish. It's being determined and insistent. The woman who sat with the issue of blood, well, we don't know whether there were other lepers or other people around, but the Bible says she said to herself, it was not a corporate discussion. If I may but touch the hem of his garment, she invented her own formula for her miracle. I don't know how the rest will be healed, but as for me, this is my approach. For someone, you are going to say, as I lift my hands, so God, it will not just be a lifting of hands. I am actually receiving something. As I stand, as I shout, as I sing, your faith has to define your receiving. Hallelujah. So make up your mind to not be familiar with God. Make up your mind to not believe that I know what will happen. Shortly right now, people will start shouting and rolling on the floor and all of that. You carry that kind of mentality you would have just slept well at home at least so that you don't waste your time in multiple ways. But for as long as you are here, your heart must be open. Like Jacob, some of you missed out on everything God did last year. Now he's given you a chance that you open up your heart. Lord, I came here for my story to change. I came here for my life to carry the, the stamp of your mercy, the stamp of your grace. I came here because this age-long captivity in my family must give way. I came here because this yoke, this altar that has sat upon people's destinies, it must bow. I've come here because this wicked spirit that brings mighty people down in my family, it must give way once and for all. I came here, oh God, because you have given me the privilege to be the only one out of 20 people who, who is saved in my family. I've come here as the first of the remaining 19 who must be saved in their lifetime. They, they, you have to connect and be intentional. For some of you, there is nobody who has remembered you, yet your phone is full of numbers. Full of numbers of relevant people who can become a leverage, an easy leverage. Anytime someone thinks of something good, they forget you until they are done doing good for others. They say, ah, why did you come late? I hope you know lateness has a price. Ask Esau 
Esau came late and Isaac said, you just came. I've blessed him already. He said, Father, is there nothing again? Ask the remaining five virgins. They returned and the door was already shut. Hallelujah. And there are some of you good things don't stay in your hands. The moment someone blesses you, the moment God opens a door, you are even afraid of blessings because it looks like there is a track record of nothing good lasting in your life. Someone comes into your life and says, I want to help you and your family. You are afraid because you know something will happen. May God rewrite your story. In the name of Jesus, may my God rewrite your story. Hallelujah. You know, something happened one time. A man was about to be promoted. And while I was told, true story, he was about to be promoted and his boss would later tell him when he went to bed, he had a voice warning him not to lift and promote that man. And he got up regardless what they discussed at an executive level, he just canceled it like that. It was later on that he was wondering and saying, what? I don't know what happened. All I did was I had a voice. The only voice your destiny helper must hear is the voice of help and mercy towards you. I say it again. The only voice your destiny helper must hear is the voice of help and mercy towards you. Hallelujah. One of the things I hope that God will grant us grace over is this, this onslaught of untimely death just sweeping across. You see young, vibrant people with no traceable health condition. They just go to bed and wake up. I hope you, you know that long life is your heritage in Christ. And don't be ashamed to declare and stand upon the truth of God's word. Don't say this person believed and died. Thank God the person made heaven, but as for you that is still alive, don't sit and keep quiet and allow the devil waste your life like that. No. Long life with long life, he says. You see, most believers are careless because we are afraid when we say some things to make it bold, we think we're embarrassing ourselves with, because we don't seem to have the result. He said, let the weak say, I am strong. Huh? Let the poor say, I am rich. If you see a poor man saying, I am rich in the name of Jesus, you look at him and say, dear foolish man, continue this nonsense you are talking. While confession is not the only key to wealth, it is a potent spiritual key. It begins to open other doors that eventually navigates you to the wealthy place. One of the character of depression, medical science will tell us, is bringing you to the point of silence. You see a depressed man, a noisy man cannot be a depressed man. A depressed man keeps quiet in silence and then is destroyed completely. Hallelujah. So when it is time to pray and to make prophetic declarations you must know that it is also part of the package for the miracle service when it is time to speak don't keep quiet if god directs us and says begin to declare over your life don't watch others rewriting rearranging building their destinies that in the name of jesus there is no death in the name of Jesus, there is no smallness. It says, I will multiply you. You will not be small. I will glorify you. You will not be few. Listen, the, what you believe is what works for you, not what is available. What you believe, the part of scripture you believe is the part that works for you. If you believe that God is only God of the mountains, you will only see his power when you climb the mountain. If you believe that God is the God of the valleys alone, you will only see his power when you are in the valley. But when you believe that God is God of both mountain and valley, it doesn't matter whether you're on the mountain or the valley, you expect his power to be made manifest. Are we together? So you must expect and open up your heart to receive everything that God has in store for you tonight. 
Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire!